Good morning from the Minnesota Wonderland here in Brainerd. I unloaded my trailer first thing this morning. I was able to sleep right outside their gate, got the freight off, and now I'm headed back to Thief River and then home. A snowstorm rolled through here last night. I'm not sure if you could tell. But it left a lot of sticky snow. 600 meters, turn right on Washington Street, MM210. The temperature right now is 0 degrees Celsius, 32 Fahrenheit. And the roads are good, just messy. In 300 meters, turn right on Washington Street, MM210. The drive down here from Ontario yesterday was pretty wild. I crossed at International Falls, Minnesota from Fort Francis, Ontario. If you watched yesterday's video, you'll know that we had a four and a half hour delay in Fort Francis waiting for our customs paperwork to clear. That was fun. But it kind of worked out in our favor because while we were waiting there, the storm was here. By the time I got here, the storm was gone. It had just left all the snow. But the snow was so thick and so heavy, as you can see around me here, it was pulling trees down over the highway. It was wild. It was way too dark to film. I got some footage of it, but you can't even see. So I just, you know, left it out of there. I don't like including footage and, you know, explaining, you know, I know you can't see it, but I can just tell you today, right? The roads were already plowed. So I'm guessing it was probably the plow drivers, maybe? If they have a chainsaw on board, I don't know. Because they had plowed through these uh, like little spots that had been cut out of the trees. Because the trees had fallen over the road, and someone with a chainsaw had come along and, and cut them up so that one lane was open. That was crazy. But you can still see on the trees around here how they're just sagging down on either side of me here, right? Heavy, heavy snow. But it sure does make it look like a winter wonderland. It really puts you in the mood for Christmas. This is what Christmas is supposed to look like. I just don't like it when it's snowing on Christmas. That's a bummer. But right before Christmas, get a snowfall like this, that is perfect. So we've got our new trailer behind us now. It's a tri-axle step deck, exactly like the one we brought here, just with three axles instead of two. And uh, I'm just gonna check the weather real quick because it's snowing here. It is snowing. I don't think there's a winter storm warning in effect yet, but in 95% snow, 94% here now in Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Steinbach weather. So it's minus seven back home right now. It's gonna go down to minus nine, minus, ooh, minus 11 tonight at Celsius. And it's not snowing right now, but it's gonna start snowing again later tonight. Okay, so as I drive north from here, we should get out of this snow, can drop this trailer, and then get back to my shop before the snow starts again. 
or as it's starting before it gets bad looks like around nine o'clock tonight it's gonna start sewing pretty heavy again and then uh all through tomorrow is that what it looks like snowing all through tomorrow good thing i'm gonna be sitting at home oh wait no i'm not we have a family gathering good thing we got four-wheel drive on both our vehicles and then the next day uh we have a wiener has an appointment our little wiener dog well, i guess he's not so little he's long but he's little and long he uh has to get some teeth removed he's got some infections in his gums and we're also getting a window replaced in our house as well that day and on that day it's supposed to be minus 17 so i don't know if they're going to want to do the window install on that day or not but uh, that'll be up to the installer it's not that cold but he said if it's too cold they won't be able to do it <coughs> we'll see so i got a few days at home coming up but before we can enjoy that we have to get home safely I just passed my dad. I should have got it on camera. He was headed south down to Thief River to grab a load just like I got and bring it back to the yard. This is Carlstad, Minnesota. That car in front of us there traveling the same direction as us is bothering me. Let me tell you why. The roads are ice covered, right? Well, not a, they're snow covered. They're not that icy, but they're snow covered. They're slippery, but we're being careful, right? Well, he was being uber, uber careful out on the highway outside of town, right? Doing like, I don't know, 45 mile an hour in a 60 zone. I wasn't really complaining. I was like, okay, it's a little slippery. We'll go slow. And we get into town. And the guy is flying through town, speeding through town. I think I've mentioned that before. I don't understand that habit. A lot of people do this. Maybe they don't even notice. They go super slow on the highway. And this happens on when, when there's no snow too. It happens on good days when there's dry pavement. People drive really slow out in the middle of the highway when nothing else is around and then you get them into town and they, or through a construction zone and they just fly, fly through town, fly through the construction zone speeding and they get back out onto the main highway and they're doing 20 under the limit again. This is the strangest thing. You know where I noticed that a lot? Quebec. A lot. Now that I'm thinking about it, I used to drive out that way a lot more, right? And driving in Quebec. The strangest driving habits, it's so common there that people drive 20 below the speed limit. And it's so odd when you come out of Ontario where people on average drive 20 over the speed limit. Like regular cars, not trucks, obviously. And then they plug up the highway, right? Because they're going so slow and you got to go around them and there's so much traffic. And then you get into a town or city or through a construction zone and... <laughs> they're gone <laughs> I don't know I think I'm the only one that notices these things I think I might be the only one who notices them so the roads are slippery we're gonna take her easy we're on our way home the snow has slowed down since we were in Thief River Falls temperatures minus six degrees Celsius outside and it's supposed to get a little colder as we get closer to home but I think we'll be able to get old blue into the shop nice and warm and tucked in for the weekend before the snow starts again tonight. We'll see. Well, this is nice. That's the Canadian border right there. And this storm just rolled in. Just a couple of miles back and suddenly just kablammo. So it's supposed to be clearing up a little further up so i'm hoping this is a short space right here at the border where this wind is so bad we're so close to home i just really want to get home and get to the shop old blue needs to sit inside for snowstorms like this okay it's clearing up a little bit here that's good 600 meters slight ride on north selkirk highway highway 29 and then to the mountain, 1.4 kilometers. Thanks. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. I really hope this does clear up and that they don't close the highway. I guess I should word that differently. I hope they don't have to close the highway. 
Oof, but it's slippery all right. It's very slippery right here. So we'll see. We'll see if it's true that it's gonna clear up and if not, we may have to make the call and shut her down here. This is my coworker right in front of me here, so. We'll see what happens. This winter so far though, eh? Man, it's not even winter time yet. Keep calling it winter, it's still autumn. December 21st is the first day of winter. This is still fall. Oh, that's scary. Yikes. I just pulled into the parking area here. Clear off my taillights of snow. Make sure everything is, all the lights are visible. Got my buddy Mike right here beside me. Cleaned his taillights off too. I don't even know if he noticed me doing it, but he came in parked beside me. He's doing some paperwork and I cleaned off my taillights and I went over and quickly cleaned his off too. So I was following him up, uh, <coughs> following him up for the last half hour. And I could see that the snow was starting to cover his taillights. I could hardly see him. So he should be good to go now. It's supposed to clear up just down the road. So here we go. Gonna be slow moving for a little bit. The rumors are right and the weatherman is right. We should be out of this in a few minutes. The lights are still purple. But if I remember correctly, I think there's less purple ones now. So maybe they're slowly replacing them. I mean, that one's not working all together. Over 200 meters, keep to the left on Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 75. Ah, it's already starting to clear up. We've only gone about half a mile. Good. Good, good, good. So we're just going to keep her nice and slow and steady. Pull out of the other side Continue of this. Along this brief road storm. For 15 kilometers. And we'll catch you guys when we get to the yard. We made it. Well, uh, the blizzard did die out. I cut across the 59, which runs parallel to the 75, the highway we were on, uh, and it's got bush. It, it goes through the bush instead of out in the open field. So I figured that would be more sheltered. It would probably be better. And it was. I got over there and it was clear sailing all the way back. I mean, traffic on the road didn't know that, obviously, because they were still doing like 30 on the highway, but Better than doing 130, I guess. So Old Blue is uh, safe inside. Gonna warm up over the night, and I'm gonna come back here in the morning, clean her up a little bit. Uh, this weekend I'm gonna spend some time getting all the salt out of all the crevices in here, because uh, once it thaws out, uh, just the salt will be left, right? And then uh, I'm gonna come here and pressure wash it, get it all if the weather's nice enough outside yeah, at least just get the salt off the truck and then we'll go from there we have a few things to get done i'm really hungry and there's food at home so i hear so i'm gonna quickly get all my stuff out of old blue here and uh we'll talk to you guys soon might film a little bit at home i might not i need to get rid of this old mattress and this weekend i have to film the mattress video for the new Odyssey truck mattress. Where is it? Right here. Have you guys checked out their website yet? OdysseyTruckMattress.com? I believe that's their website. You can just Google it, Odyssey Truck Mattress. It's a mattress that's made in the USA. And believe me, it's the best sleep I've ever had in a truck. It's like sleeping at home every night. But I have the soothing sounds of the diesel engine. For a little bit, and then I shut it off for the night. <laughs> I'm tired. I'll talk to you later.